islands in the sun. She has made history becoming the first black actress to win in the outstanding lead actress category in the daytime Emmys. And she hailed right here from Trinidad and Tobago. Don't worry, I'm not one of those people who can't sit in silence. Right. From the first time she stepped onto a stage, Michelle Morgan knew she had found her purpose and calling. But like many persons who were immigrants in a first world progressive country, the journey wasn't an easy one. That was my parents um, who decided that we were going to move to Canada when I was five. Um, and we moved to Canada and I just remembered feeling out of, I don't know, just not really in the group. Like I couldn't really get my place. And we moved around a lot when I was a kid. So five years later, we finally settled in this um, one place in Mississauga and we went to this school um, and they were really big on school plays. So I did my first school play, and then I, something inside of me was like, I feel alive on the stage. After many years of fine-tuning her craft, Michelle knew she had what it takes to become a megastar, but was indecisive as to whether the path was one she should take. That was until an act of God caused her to look deeper. I actually came to Trinidad years ago when I was 19, and I got in a car accident and I broke my neck and um, there was a chance that I would have been paralyzed from the neck down. While I was waiting for that surgery, I just had a lot of conversations with God and I just felt like God was telling me I didn't really try and pursue my true passion and my true love. So then I kind of made a promise that if I get a chance to walk again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Embracing her calling, Michelle finally broke ground, gaining a small role in the action blockbuster Total Recall, but it was a role that gained her the recognition she needed as she soon appeared on two prior series before becoming a regular on Young and Restless. I think it was a challenge for me to play Hillary because it was the first time that I was playing somebody that was almost a villain and I was, I was trying to find, I was trying to humanize her. And after years of being a series regular on Young and Restless playing the character of Hillary Curtis, it was her role as lead character Amanda St. Clair which earned her the Emmy. The journey that I talked about that God was putting me on, it felt like it was bigger than me and I didn't know why. And I felt like I was a vessel or a tool for something. And I think that that was the moment that I really truly felt like, okay, I, I see where you're taking me and and, let's, and I'm excited about the journey to continue um, and to see where it leads. I'm Sherilyn Lewis for TTT News, urging you to live for local.